Good morning, Sedalia Park. It's art day. I hope you're as excited as I am about all the fun things PTA has planned for us today. Keeping with their tree theme for the day, you guys are going to be creating a tree themed t-shirt that you're going to end up wearing on field day. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how you can make your t-shirt look its absolute best. When you come out to the t-shirt station, you're just going to have a plain old colorful t-shirt. Your job is going to be to create a tree on top of that using paper. When you get out there, you'll see baskets and they're going to have, they're going to be full of tree trunks, tree branches, tree leaves. Some of the leaves will even be real leaves. And it's going to be your job as the artist to construct a tree on your shirt using those paper scraps. You're going to use a glue stick to make it stick to your shirt. Now if you're thinking, I do not want a paper tree on my shirt, don't worry, the paper's not going to stay there. We're going to spray paint over it and peel that paper up. The purpose of the paper is to mask off where we don't want the paint to go. So your first job is you're going to get a tree trunk, you'll pick one out, you'll put just a little bit of glue on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but not much. I made one this morning and I went way overboard on the glue and I used too much. I just want enough on there so that it doesn't blow around when someone puts spray paint on it. So just enough to hold it. Don't go crazy and make it too, you know, don't make it stick too much. Then you'll select different branches and I would make mine super fancy. I want it to look as good as it can. So I'm not just going to put a trunk with two branches on it. I'm going to really take my time. I might tear some of the branches in half and arrange them how I want them to be. I'm going to pick out lots of interesting leaves. And remember, I'm just going to put a little dab, just, just like that, on the back until it all sticks. And guess what? It doesn't matter what color your leaves are. Don't spend your time saying, oh, I want all blue leaves, or I'm going to do all purple and blue, because once the spray paint hits it, you're not even going to know what color you used. And remember, the paper's not going to stay on there. So look for the shape that you want, not the color that you want. Once you get it all arranged, and keep in mind you could have leaves falling on your tree, you could have a little pile of them on the bottom, you could have um, some of the tree trunks have a little hole for a squirrel, some of them don't. So it will all depend on what you want, how full you want your tree to be, maybe what season it is. So you have to make all those artistic decisions. When you are happy with your design and it's all set, you're going to bring it over to the spray paint area. And somebody is going to spray paint all over the top of your beautiful tree. Then they're going to peel up your design and remember the paper has been masking where the paint goes. So underneath the paper you're going to see the color of your shirt and we'll throw all the paper parts away and just your beautiful design will be left on your shirt. I cannot wait to see you at Art Day and I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful shirts. I hope you guys have a great day.